Hope you're having a great holiday weekend so far. The unofficial start of summer is sure going to feel like it. 91 degrees for your Memorial Day plans. And even if you don't like the heat, I think with that south wind and lower humidity, it's going to feel refreshing and comfortable for those holiday outdoor activities. For that morning walk or bike ride, mid 70s on deck. If you want to spend some time out on the deck or patio in the afternoon, it'll feel summery and warm. Just don't forget that sunscreen. Low 90s are possible. We get a mild south southwest breeze that lifts those temperatures right along the lake shore. It'll be around 80 degrees and our current Lake Erie temperature is 62 boaters forecast. If you're headed to the lake or bay 91 degrees winds are going to be about 10 to 15 knots and that should keep the waves at bay waves expected to be one foot or less out on the lake. Perhaps your plans involve a nice cookout or picnic at one of our parks. 91 degrees for an early dinner, still hanging on to 89 through 6 p.m. And 8 p.m., 85 degrees, your temperature. Sunset tomorrow isn't until 9 o'clock p.m. That'll be our first 9 p.m. sunset of the season so far. And maybe when the sun goes down, a bonfire in the backyard sounds good to me. It'll be in the upper 70s at 10 p.m. So it's certainly a warm evening for making those s'mores with the campfire in your backyard. Now, while we have quiet weather here for Memorial Day, some folks to the west, anything but quiet. Severe weather is expected from the northern um, part of the United States all the way back through Kansas. And I want to show you an area in particular that could get hit very hard for the Memorial Day holiday. If you do have any family Family or friends who live in Minnesota, especially the northwestern part of the state, that red area shows you a region that could see a tornado outbreak for the Memorial Day holiday. That does not include Minneapolis, but it's more so to the north and northwest of Minneapolis, even up towards Fargo. Tornadoes are likely for the Memorial Day holiday, so just check in with your family up there. Make sure they have a way to get weather alerts. Our next rain chance is going to roll in midweek on Wednesday. Showers and thunderstorms will be possible. A few of those may be on the stronger side. I'm watching a cold front that'll usher in a cooler feel by Thursday as rain showers come to an end. Umbrella wise, no need for it the next couple days. Just the sunglasses Monday and Tuesday. But as we head towards the middle of the week, up to a 60% rain chance Wednesday and a 30% chance Thursday as those showers taper off. Here's a look ahead. Of course, the timing could fluctuate just a little bit based on the new computer model runs that come in, but we are watching a cold front. It'll be moving in from the northwest and rain and thunder is likely to start up on Wednesday. Follow along there on that timestamp as we welcome in some rain and perhaps some thunderstorms to the forecast through Wednesday afternoon. Rain right along that front is possible and the front will clear out early Thursday, giving way to drying conditions by the latter half of Thursday and also a cooler feel behind that front. Here's that WTOL 11 10 day forecast summer warmth on Monday, Tuesday, we get a repeat performance 92 degrees and sunshine expected. Next rain and storm chance rolls in Wednesday and look what that cold front does dropping us down to the mid 70s by Thursday. Sunshine making a comeback and next weekend will be seasonable for early June with around 80 degrees and bright sunshine expected. And that 10 day forecast does feature an overall slightly cooler weather pattern. So if you like the summer heat, Memorial Day, a great day to get outdoors.